What is up you guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Well, if you saw the last vlog, then you already know where I am. So I'm currently checked into the New Star Hotel here in Cebu. The Bello team flew me out to, to host the launch of their latest and biggest clinic which is based here in Cebu. So I'm really happy to be part of that. This hotel is insane. It's really beautiful, but I was told that it is only on its soft opening. So not a lot of parts of the hotel are completely open. I think it's just FNB, the rooms, and I think that's it. So as I mentioned, I am here working on this trip and this week, has been a little bit hectic. Actually, today, I only slept two hours because I had to be at the airport by 4 a.m. Our flight was so early. So all of this morning, it's already like two in the afternoon, but all of this morning, I was a shell of a human being. I feel bad for the people who had to interact with me this morning because I was just tulala and like a zombie. Uh, but I got a nap in. They gave us some goodies. I am actually already powering through this tiny snack plate that they left over. I'm so happy that they gave us um, mangosteen and they have these like chocolate covered cereal crunches or bunches that I've already, like I already had one. So today is ish a free day. Well, it is pretty much a free day. Tomorrow's gonna be a lot busier. I have an early call time, then we start glam hair and makeup, and then I'm hosting two events back to back. So. Don't worry, like I said, my schedule is not always like this, right? So there are weeks where it's busier and then there are days when I'm like, I don't have work at all and I'm just working on the computer. That being said, I did get to nap. So I feel alive again and I feel, <laughs> I feel better. I am probably just gonna wait for one of my friends to finish his Zoom meetings and then we'll walk around the hotel. As usual, I'll just take you guys with me. Before I head out the door, if you guys hear any construction noise, I can't do anything about it. They are constructing like a big part of the hotel. So I just wanted to show you what I wore to the airport really quick. I'll take the blazer off first. So this is a bodysuit that I got from Love Bonito. I will put a link in the description box down below if you guys want to check it out. They have really good basics and in terms of like pairing tops with pants, if I'm tucking them in, I do prefer to wear bodysuits because I don't want to have to keep like re-adjusting and tucking in my shirt every time like I'm going throughout my day. So bodysuits just make it easier to keep the shirt in place all throughout the day. Granted, it's more of a hassle when you have to pee, but you know, you take your wins when you can. So I paired it with these pants and blazer set. This is from beyond the vines and I got it in a medium because I wanted that oversized look. So this is what I wore to the airport. I tend to get really cold on the plane so I always need either a jacket or a blazer to keep me warm. I will put a link to all of the products in the description box. The necklace is from, this is from Bobble Bar. I'll also put a link down below. And the earrings, I think, are from Penny Pears, which is a local brand that I actually started out as a buying customer. And we just ended up having a great working relationship afterwards. I also wanted to show you guys my nails. I'm pretty proud of them. Let me see if I could focus it. Let me see. Come on. Focus. Okay, there we go. So... If you can see, I, first of all, I'm really proud because I did my nails myself. And for someone who, also don't judge, okay? I don't have the best nails in the world, but you know, whatever, I've, I, I'm okay with that. So these are nail stickers that I've talked to you guys about in the past. What I did was I put a base layer of white uh, nail polish underneath. I'm sorry. The drilling is really annoying. I put a base layer of white nail polish and then I just stuck on these clear marble like Stickers on top so then it looks like you paid an arm and a leg to get a uh, To get a manicure, but really this took me just 30 minutes at home because 
I just do not have time to get a manicure this week. Uh, I barely had time to sleep. So I'm gonna wrap this up here because it is so hot. I have to turn on the AC, but I couldn't because I was filming. So now I'm gonna cut this here and I'll catch you guys downstairs. Getting ready for dinner tonight. We're having dinner at Mott 32 and I'm actually quite excited because some of my friends are coming. I think Vern said she's coming. Um, hopefully her, uh, like some of our other Cebu friends. I think some people are also flying in from Manila. So it's so late in the mirror. I don't know if I'm going to do it. So good luck. I hope I'm going to eat it at the Okay, I'll show you the outfit after Komagayas. Bone got a couple cracks on it. Oh well, big boy on the retina. People showing tell something spicy in my drink. Do my dance like turning tag with a waist that a shit like a boy. Here we go. This is our look for tonight. Uh, I am actually reusing this dress. I got it for Paris Fashion Week maybe two, three years ago. It is from Gammy and I am using my Otega bag and my Amina Muwadi shoes. Alright, let's head to dinner. Okay, I just be frontin', I'll be frontin'. It's all a test. I'm gonna judge, I know. Look my best, but teen tainted, skin looking, appellation, hair frizzle, and I probably get a bit on the saying this. You guys this is the final look Chris did my hair and Shira did my makeup dress is from Charina Sarte and the earrings I forget but I'll put it in the description box okay I have like 10 minutes to meet up with Doc Vicky so I can't be late bye <laughs> Oh, 
and you're always tying into the Filipino talent. This is the team white van. Not kami. Wait. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hindi na brief. All right, we're heading to the airport. Woo. One reality check. <laughs> Guys, I'm back home from hosting the Lazada event today. And Mickey uh, came over. And as usual, Nicole's salon is now open. <laughs> she came over for me. We're just gonna have dinner, ha? Kaming dalawa lang. And then I said, okay, but, saka mag, but pa, bakit ka pa mag -aayos? Tayo lang naman mag dinner. And then what did you say? What did you say? Who do we, ano? Who do we get ready for? Yes. Ourselves. Ourselves. So, tama. She called me out. As usual, that's pretty much our relationship. So, I'm gonna leave you guys on time lapse and I'm gonna do her makeup. Eto dala mo? Are you working here? Ano ba? Wow! Nagdala ng make. Nagdala ka pa? Ano? Kasi I don't. Here we go! Show your pez to everyone. Hello! <laughs> okay, alright, so I'm gonna put proper pants on and head to dinner. <laughs> hey guys, we are back in one of my favorite corners in the apartment. I figured I'd sit down and chat with you a little bit because I realized and dami kong fail na nabili. If you guys want to do like a full vlog on that, I can share maybe some of the best and worst things I bought online. For example, I got this top on Lazada and it was super affordable and I love the way it fits. I've worn it a few times already. So like this is a win. I'll try to find a link for this and I'll put it down below. I can't remember how much it was, pero I'll flash it here on the screen if you guys are curious. Today, I was also experimenting with my lip color and I love this combo that I came up with. And what I did was underneath, I did this velvet click stick from Strokes, and it is in the shade Flamingo. And then on top, I will go in with this BLK Cosmetics stick, and this is in the shade Honey. So this is actually a multi use stick, you can use it all over your face, but like I use it on my lips also. You could also use it on your eyes if you guys want to achieve this lip color that's how i did it okay again if you guys want a full video of all of my favorite products that i've been using this week let me know and i can make that for you super dalila i think we're gonna end this video here oh you know what last night i'm gonna share because i haven't spoken about a book and i finished this recently let me go get it Ta -da! this is the book i just finished i haven't finished a book in a while and so it feels so good to be able to finish one. This is Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. It is set in Sweden which I think made me a little bit more biased towards it because I don't know I rarely get to have that Swedish connection so when I do find it in things that I love it makes me 
extra excited about it. I finished this book and I really loved how it captured the essence of the human struggle and how we tend to easily judge people and the situations they find themselves in from the outside looking in. But once you actually take some time to understand people's grievances or why they do what they do, I don't know, it kind of makes it a little bit more nuanced. So this book starts off with a bank robbery gone wrong and it turns into this hostage situation and rather than it being so clear that usually in a hostage situation it's like the hostages versus the hostage taker but as all of their stories unfold you start to understand how each of their lives one are interconnected somehow and then two sometimes people who find themselves in bad situations such as the hostage hostage taker is actually the one who sort of needs saving it is very sarcastic and will make you laugh out loud at many points Sometimes it is a little bit of a tearjerker too, so I, I like that all the stories came together in the end. I don't want to give too much away, but it is a really nice read. Sorry, it's not a full favorites video, I just feel like I haven't made one in a while. And there were a lot of things today that got me really excited. I love trying out new things and sharing it with my friends, and since you guys are an extension of that, I love sharing it with you as well. So I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If you guys liked it, let me know. Give it a thumbs up so I know to make more videos like this. Also, if you guys like these sitting down talking videos, let me know so I can make more of them. And okay, I'm really gonna end it now. Okay, so give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let me know your thoughts in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Ooh.